they're close enough to stand there and, and get the foam on it. But they're trying to do a, they're trying to uh, do the best they can right now. It, it's a it's a heck of a fight they've got there. Now we have two helicopters up over the scene. The only station in the valley being able to give you both vantage points here. Bruce is uh, up over this, and we want to ask you, from where you are right now, it really does look like the firefighters are, as Scott just said, getting the upper handle. Yeah, this is the first time we've seen them uh, put foam and water on it that are attacking it from both sides. We saw the firefighters drag the hoses over to the other side of the freeway, and um, now they've stopped. So, you know, these guys obviously know what they're doing. Maybe they're just sort of testing it, Kaylee, to see... What is the foam going to do? How much material in that truck is going to over overwhelm the foam and still be able to burn? And I think that's what they're talking about. Now, they've got that ladder truck up here on the, uh, the freeway on-ramp there, and don't know if they're going to bring that thing in and start really shooting some heavy-duty foam down on that water, but I guarantee you they're going to be pumping a lot of foam and water on this truck. And it looks like they're actually getting a handle on this thing right now, definitely better than what we've seen for the past over over an hour that we've been over this scene when they weren't able to get anything on it. But boy, you can see how persistent those flames are. I mean, they're putting a lot of foam on that right now, and the flames just continue to shoot out of that truck, albeit smaller than they were, but with the second they stop it, uh, here comes the flames again. Uh, you, it looks like the back end of the tanker is still intact. There is just a big gaping hole on top where the flames are now shooting out of. Well, the back end of the tanker is gone, but uh, the flames are coming up out of that one hole. That could be another little tank in there, but, uh, boy, it, those flames are tough, Bruce. Yeah, definitely uh, they're tough, but once again, uh, these guys are doing a great job not removing their angle to get to the other side and sort of straight into the back of the truck. And there you go. There's all that white smoke, and we love seeing that because yeah. that means firefighters have water uh, on it or foam, and then now all the black smoke is gone. So let's hope that uh, they'll be able to knock this thing down. That now the problem is what are they, you know, they have to worry about what's in the other containers there, or was it one container? We don't know. They pretty much know all that probably by now with all the research they've been doing. They've contacted the company that operates that truck, and uh, you can see they're, they're getting a pretty good handle. And we're getting, for the first time, a pretty good look into the back of that truck as well. And once we get on the sunny side, we'll be able to give you one better shot uh, as to exactly that. It looks like the flames back. are out, Bruce. Gosh, yeah, yeah, except that. except a little bit on the ground right there. It looks like the tanker itself is out. But as you mentioned, even when the flames are out, they're still going to have to be very careful because... You know, fuel very volatile. 